Moon. Okay, welcome back to Everyday Funko. I have a guest star on the show. We tried to do a couple reviews already, but they we had to like Jimmy rig the sound here a little bit because it really wasn't working. And every time we touch the table, it, anyway. So now we're back, and thanks for being part of this show again. I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mystery Monster, cosplayer and photographer. So this is pretty cool. I mean, we get to open toys and hang out, which is just even more fun. We are going to start attacking these Comic-Con, Summer Comic-Con, especially now that New York Con is kind of happening and they've announced all these incredible ones. <sighs> so many good toys, so many good toys. I want so many of them, but right now I'm on a restricted budget, so we're just going to focus on the Summer Convention because I have 24 of them that we get to go through. So that'll be, that'll keep us busy. 24 wonderful Funkos that we get to check out. And I, of course, I'm starting with my favorite of all time out of all of the ones that have come out this summer is the Tick. And we're just going to line them up along the table. We're going to keep them out as we go. And we're just going to kind of like compare, which would be kind of a good way to do it, I think. It, it will definitely be fun. And it'll be nice to see the quality level between the different uh, brands. Of, well, well, the different Funko, but the different yeah. designs that come out with them. Well, that's true. Because I think... Tick was Barnes and Noble? Yes. No. Who was Tick? I don't know. I should know this because I spent up all night waiting on the internet to go like this and I couldn't get him, so I had to spend a lot of money on eBay to get this guy, which was okay. I actually got him in a lot and that wasn't so bad, but I think it was Barnes and Noble. I'm going to have to do some more research. My phone no, code knowledge. Have to find, find out. It'll probably be a little yeah. caption at the bottom. Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah well, that's Barnes and Noble. That's the best way to fix it. <laughs> but I, I tried to stalk this one all night long and I couldn't get it, which was a super bummer. I think I missed out on the Tigger as well. So I think it was Barnes and Noble. But I eventually got him anyways. And I got my glow in the dark tick, which is really exciting. <laughs> what do you think of him? I, I loved him right off the bat. When we first got in here and we were deciding what to do first, um, we both picked the tick. It's true. Right out of box. Just that one. Yeah. So this is definitely the winner when it comes to so far out of all the... Like, there are some really fantastic ones, don't get me wrong, but we're both tick fans, and this is so great. And Amazon did such a great job with bringing the tick to life in the new series. They did. That having an actual quality Funko Pop yeah. for it as well just makes it that much more exciting. And the bonus to me when it comes to glow in the darks, I do like because they glow in the dark, but a lot of the times they get lost in translation or they try to make the whole figure glow and it just looks not so great. So this was good that they kept his eyes and mouth and everything, which we'll see once we unbox him. But yeah, so far everything about this figure in box, I'm really digging. Oh yeah. And it's just so simple and elegant for the boxing. Like you'll see it through the 360, but... Just having such uh, such a simple, straightforward design just makes it that much more appealing to me as a collector. It does. And that's what I do like about Funkos is I'm very OCD and I like the fact that they all kind of work together when you're putting them, even in this mad swarm behind, which you can't actually see all of them. I've been crazy busy with the new 360, unboxing all of the non-exclusive culling through my collection and keeping all the ones that I absolutely adore and love. And this show now for the next 10 months is going to be nothing but exclusives every day, unless it's yeah. something that yeah. really comes in. That's new that we both really love. And we both pick up when we are like toy hunting, which is really hard to do in Victoria, but we will kind of have a couple of those videos as well. Cause that would be exciting. It is great. And the advantage of toy hunting in Victoria yeah. is that there is a wonderful shop, cherry bomb toys, that you True. can find a lot of exclusive items at. Problem with it is they are all vintage exclusive. They don't have any new Funkos. So when it comes to Funko, we are going to have to pound the pavement and go to Toys R Us and ED Games and a lot of those places, which unfortunately the staff tend to pilfer through and get all the Chase exclusives and everything that we don't get to get our hands on, which is kind of a bummer. I'm going to have to suck up to more staff. Yeah, we'll have to, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to like, hey, hook us up. Or we're just going to have to order these off of eBay and have fun and bring them into the show and then put them on the shelf, which will be exciting. So now that we've kind of talked about the tick and kind of what we like about the figure that we've seen in the box, we're going to take a second, we're going to unbox it, and we're going to come back and we're going to take a judgment on what we think of it actually out of box. Okay, we're both pretty excited. He <laughs> is... 
he's way cooler outside of his package than he is in his package, period. This is a beautiful man. I'm, I'm comfortable enough to say that. Or figment of Arthur's imagination. That is a wonderful subtext that goes yeah. with. No, this is beautiful. The detail it's pretty that cool. they've gone through with this is... They put the effort into actually making it a full muscled ridged bodysuit and, and not, not just a blue body. Here you go. Thanks. And not just that. You're going to see it in this 360 video you're seeing right now. I like the fact that he's got the clear body and the head is a little bit more matte. It actually... And then the antennas are the clear body. This is a really striking figure. Like, this is actually really beautiful. His eye paint is perfect. Everything about it, him is fantastic. His box was a little damaged in shipping, but I'm okay because this one will be staying on my shelf and with me and he's never going anywhere because this is a 100% winner winner chicken dinner. He is, he's staying. And he has full head articulation, which is nice. So. Yay! I, I love it. Yeah, no, if he wasn't staying with you, he'd be staying with me. That's true. Yeah, that's true, actually. Some my of these can go home with you if I'm like, mm -hmm. don't want it. My best friend and I have been actually planning for years to yeah. do Tick and Arthur because we already have the size differences between us. Yeah. So you will be finding out about that if I ever get around to finishing it. That would be pretty awesome. That uh, And I'm really excited about this because this is beautiful. That would be a cool cosplay because I actually haven't really seen a lot of the Tick because a lot uh, of I've people don't have that body shape and you have the height and the build to actually pull that costume off. Yeah, no, I just have to actually yeah. build the giant blue yeah. tights. You can't really <laughs> see it right now because we're on adjustable chairs, but yes. Um, you are a lot taller than I am, and it definitely can make some really, definitely amazing cosplays when it comes to, I mean, your Colossus is, it, it just makes, you make everyone look tiny, so it that works. Yeah. <laughs> so this figure is a winner. 100% winner, staying in the collection. I love him. Totally going to be keeping him. I definitely want to hear your comments in the comment section and see what you guys think of him. I haven't actually seen any videos of him out there, but I haven't been doing any major searches either. So hopefully you love having this amazing co-host because he's going to be here from now on, which is going to be really great. Yeah, you're stuck with me. But this is definitely five stars in my book. I agree. The Tick is a winner. Yeah, I guess we should start a Funko rating, which would be kind of interesting. So, Ooh, yeah. That would be fun. Five pops? Five pops. So this is definitely a five pop then. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hands down. Number five. Just because it's got really great paint. It's box is really nice. I mean, a lot of the boxes are, are good, but there's just, again, this one really works, especially on the back, which is the blue title of the tick. They, I'm sure will bring an Arthur out and then the box will change a little bit on the back, but the glowing and just the different levels of his costume in this are perfect winner for me oh yeah detail alone to me they've raised the bar them on themselves because yeah. they're gonna have to bring out a terror true and they're gonna have to bring out arthur yeah and a now they have a quality made. level they have to bring out a yeah. quality level that matches the tick now true so come or on Funko, let's see what you got they may just write it off as comic-con exclusives I don't, that's it's... fine too if they want to do it like come on true. they're tied with amazon for the show so you know you're gonna have someone that will happily do exclusives and you he pointed out earlier it is really surprising that this wasn't an amazon exclusive yeah. and um, i think hey hey was the only amazon it, that one that came out on amazon hmm. for i'll have to again do some research for the next episode a little bit more but yes is the keeper so stay tuned we're gonna keep doing um we're actually gonna do a box reveal next which is gonna be great it's gonna be the new event like the avenger marvel court box which is gonna be really fun because i mean have you gotten boxes before in the past yourself oh, i have gotten yeah. some but yeah. not one this exciting oh especially considering so. we kind of like already peaked and previewed a little bit and there's a character in there that i know you're super excited to open so oh, yeah. we will see you on the next episode and thank you for tuning in to everyday funko